This is a call out to all press who call themselves journalists. First, this is a call out of a SOS to all non-corporate owned journalists. Through this process, I have amassed the skills of an investigator and researcher, but still, I'm not a journalist. Chauncey Bailey was a journalist, who also happened to be a black man in Oakland, California, a city with a notorious history of oppressive and subversive police actions against the black community specifically, and people of color and conscious in general. travesty of justice on the fourth estate is playing out in Oakland, California as we speak. Fact. Chauncey Bailey, a black journalist, was investigating the Oakland Police Department's corruption and crimes against the black community when he was murdered by a person with direct ties to Oakland Police Department Intelligence Division. This same division subverted the Panthers, Judy Berry, and Earth First, the Port of Oakland, peace, anti-war protest, and continues to this day to attack the Occupy movement. We are used to hate in the black community. We can handle hate in the black community. And let me say right here, no one hates black folks more than black folks. We are 12% of the population. We do 50% of the murders. 95% of the murders against blacks are by other blacks. You're in a city that's lost more African Americans since 1990 than any other city in the United States. There's an institutional things that's happening. But don't get sidetracked on dealing with individuals and making this some kind of a soap opera that the media can cover as a soap opera. It's, it's, it's a lot deeper than that. Refusing to follow through to OPD is the indictment carved in the headstone of the local corporate-owned media, bathed in the light of history. Here lies a corporate machine bereft of integrity and therefore unqualified to be called journalism. Has everybody had a chance to review the 10 questions that were submitted? I'll give you the list of questions we're going to answer. Question number three, which I'm not going to respond to. Paul Cobb said that Sergeant Derwin Longmire refused to speak to a man at the scene who said he witnessed the murder. Is that true? Has police already interviewed this man? Question number four. I went over to his car with this gentleman, and Longmire sped off in a huff. And all the other media was there observing it, like, wonder what that was about. In the one year, nine months that OPD Squad 13 intelligence officer Longmire had a big brother and mentor relationship with Yusuf Bey IV, 
Yusuf Bey IV committed over 95% of his crimes he's accused of, including vandalism on tape of two Muslim liquor stores, attempted murder of a bouncer at a San Francisco strip club, over $4 million in real estate fraud, stolen luxury cars, a kidnapping and torture of a mother and a daughter for money, automatic weapons and shotgun attacks on the community, and a cold-blooded murder of three men who never met him, one of which was black reporter Chauncey Bailey who just happened to be writing an expose on the relationship of OPD to Yusuf Bey IV and all of these crimes. Because Omar, the reason why they didn't pin the murder on me, because Omar, he saw my baby go even because they wanted to pin me, they wanted to make some like, so I was in charge, he worked for me, I could have. Point to do it. Even though he said I didn't right. do it, the long mercy, I'm not even have you involved with that because it made the baby look terrible. I said, yeah, yeah, it worked. Thanks for fucking did it. <laughs> instructed a witness not to speak about anything that was related to what Paul Cobb talked about. Why wouldn't Judge Reardon want the public to know what Paul Cobb spoke about? Paul Cobb was the owner of the Oakland Post, the boss of Chauncey Bailey, and the person that would know best what Chauncey Bailey was doing at the time of his death. When he asked me the question, were there any controversial topics or subjects that Chauncey was working on? Could we give him an account? And the first thing that came out of my mouth was he was investigating the police. Um, I received this information from uh, one of your colleagues in the media. Uh, immediately after we received the information, uh, we had a first name that we had been doing some preliminary investigation. This information was, in fact, followed up on through our internal affairs investigation and through our, um, our investigative process. There was no other information has been provided to us that would allow us to continue on any further with this information. However, if that information is still available, we would very much like to receive that and pursue an investigation into whether or not officers at the Oakland Police Department had been involved in any kind of police misconduct or corruption. What was that based on? Was that based on information that you received from Mr. Cobb? No, this is information I received from one of your colleagues in the media that one of Chauncey's stories was that an Oakland police officer was involved in, um, with the bakery with some uh, corruption. While we were we with finding the people who killed Chauncey? Because you and I talked about that on the plane, we talked about that, and you had some really, um, you had some things to say I want people to hear, and this gets out to a wide audience. Well, I think that it's some of the latest revelations in the media is that uh, Chauncey was on to a lot of things and he was investigating several major issues. He was investigating the police and some of the issues that have come out. Have you seen what's been in the Tribune lately? I have not. So About I say the, I have to make okay, in the last I week I or so there's been an announced investigation of another, you remember the Riders case? Right, I remember that one. There's another version of a similar type Riders case I saw where that. Okay. Uh, okay. improper search and seizure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and active. Chauncey was on to that. Uh -huh. And Chauncey was also looking into the... Well, what, Paul, are you what, saying the police said something? No, I'm this? not saying that. Okay, all right, all right. But I think that... Um, I think uh, the police had infiltrated the bakery. Yes, the black your black Muslim bakery, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, you can put two and two together after that. Oh my goodness. Um, I think that Chauncey Bailey.
same people involved in the cover-up of Judy Berry's attempted assassination are now in charge of the Chauncey Bailey cover-up investigation. And this right here sums it up. How can any real self-respecting journalist or anyone who calls himself a journalist allow a sloppy investigation of a sloppy investigation to represent justice for a fellow slain journalist? Come on, what kind of pussified shit is that? I can tell you that today a criminal grand jury returned an indictment accusing Yusef Bey IV and Antoine Mackey the murder of Chauncey Bailey, the murder of Michael Wills, the murder of Odell Roberson. In addition, uh, Mr. Bay IV was indicted for an incident that involved uh, shooting a car belonging to a man named Cameron Cook. The indictment also uh, alleges a special circumstance of uh, multiple murder. An additional indictment was handed down by the same grand jury accusing Devondre Broussard of the murder of Chauncey Bailey and the murder of Odell Roberson and a special circumstances allegation uh, for multiple murders. So the department is, uh, is, in my view, in a shambles. You know, I have never known the Oakland Police Department to be in such total disarray at the command level. You know, you still got decent people getting their patrol cars every day go out and do a job. But at the command level, that place is an absolute disaster. And it, 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 what's happening right now is, you, you know, you have their own internal affairs investigation. Uh, the well, attorney yeah. general's office. Yeah, yeah. We don't have attorney general. And you know, and I'll be honest with you, I have no confidence in the ability of the police department to resolve these matters. I have no confidence in the attorney general's office to, to facilitate a resolution of these matters. I have zero confidence, but that's just me. I'm Judge Thelton Henderson is the federal judge in charge of overseeing court-ordered OPD reforms. Everybody, yourselves, your family, your friends, anybody who can sign a petition needs to contact this judge immediately and demand an independent investigation of the murder of black journalist Chauncey Bailey.